Uh, it's been an honor to actually be at Wear 2.0 at the Launchpad event, part of, uh, of sharing the stage with Simple Geo and other prestigious startups. Uh, we started up in September 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a product of the Singularity University uh, team project uh, over there. And uh, during the team project, we were part of one of four teams. Okay. And the team's focus really was on disaster response technologies. And what we started to chisel it down to is really civilian empowerment and government to civilian communication. Okay. And that's really when the CiviGuard concept was formed uh, around about September and then we went ahead and started to create a company around it uh, with two of my co-founders. So tell me a little bit more about civilian empowerment. How does this... So when there's a crisis, at this point, the only real source of information that the civilian has that's credible is really the government. However, the government starts to really reach out to you we have mass messaging platforms. So in other words, you'll get mass SMSs on your phone if you're in a metropolitan city, or you get your classic emergency alert system messages on your television, etc. So what happens with these messages is that they, while, they're, while they go ahead and raise awareness, they're also too generic, and therefore also raise panic. Right. And in the, in the net outcome here is that we really want to be able to channel and give information that's contextual and timely and transparent. And that's something that CiviGuard achieves over and above the sort of mass messaging platforms that are available today. And it does that using the smartphone. Okay. And we're optimizing it really for the iPhone, Android, Blackberry platform initially, and then we have Windows Phone coming out, say, towards the fourth quarter of the year. Okay. And the goal here is to take advantage of the 110 million or so smartphones that are in existence in North America already and 400 plus million out there worldwide. Right. And also take advantage of location. Right. So most of these systems out there right now are asynchronous. There's just one-way traffic. We go out there, we just mass message and spam right. everyone with information. So you might hit everybody in New York City. Precisely. Which might not be what you want. Which might not be what you want. So what you can do is start to narrow down uh, the target area, so to speak. Uh, we also have the ability to go ahead and classify zones into crisis zones where the situation is actually going happening. Right. And then also notification zones, which are really wider band. Okay. And the notification zone may have a completely different set of instructions saying to go away from it. Right. But in a crisis situation that may be hostage oriented or something like the Mumbai shootings, you might actually want to tell people to stay in place. Right. So CiviGuard gives you the ability through this platform, through the multi-touch scenario planning interface to in real time be able to start communicating and establishing a, a, a link over smartphone right. with these personnel in times of crisis. Anything from New York, San Francisco, Detroit, um, Indianapolis, etc. So places that have a high urban density right. uh, and a high population density so that we can take advantage of crowd movement and uh, location signals and understand and establish patterns, that's really where it gets interesting. Where they need that flexibility to right. reach different areas. If, 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 uh, if the population density was too low, then the advantageousness of this platform would be lessened right. due to the fact that you have to target large spots of land, but you're not really getting as much bang for your buck in terms of being able to message large right. spots of the population and be able to individually tell them what to do. Since September, we've gone ahead and set up a prototype multi-touch interface that allows people to set up scenarios. Right. Uh, it is a very sophisticated platform. It is all cloud-based. However, we also work with multiple failover cloud clusters. So oh, okay. Amazon, Rackspace, and also NASA Nebula, which is the federal right. cloud. And we actually can dynamically fail over these particular multi-home sites. In the future, should a city, you know, should browsers evolve into a, a more standardized form and have HTML5 and WebKit support on a wider basis, somebody can just enter a URL and be able to get critical information using offline caching, etc. Um, etc. Out there. Okay, great. Thank cool. you very much. Good luck. I appreciate it, Simon. Cheers. Thank you.